Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I'm Randy and this is a contest entry. This contest entry for Russ over at Mama's Records. Uh, he's celebrating 200 subscribers, uh, although he's quite a bit over that now. And he's got such a varied collection and really enjoy his content, especially since he likes a lot of the same artists that I do. But, uh, and celebrating 200 subscribers, he uh, made the contest revolve around the two and I'll just get right into it here. The first uh, prompt is to show the second side of an album that you think is perfect. And I picked my favorite Rod Stewart album, and that's Every Picture Tells a Story, which Every Picture Tells a Story is probably my famous, my famous, my favorite song on the album, but it's actually on the first side. But the second side is just stacked here. You got Maggie Mae, the great hit, and Matt, also Madeline Wind, with this, which was a hit. And a great cover of the Whitfield Holland Grant tune, I Know I'm Losing You, which was a big hit for The Temptations. And also a wonderful cover of the great songwriter Tim Harden's Reason to Believe, it's, it's, which is, the song's perfect with uh, Rod's kind of raspy voice, the perfect ballad. And I just think that's a great second side on Rod Stewart's Every Picture Tells a Story. Next was to show a great second album by an artist. So this, uh, the sophomore effort, I think, of Elvis Costello, uh, this year's model, is a great, uh, I think it's better than his first album. And it starts off with no action, where you hear his voice at the beginning and then the drums just kick in and the attractions just sound so great on this. And, of course, this is the first album with the attractions. On his first album, it was with Clover, which was basically a Huey Lewis band. But uh, this is where the attractions really shine, with no action, uh, the, the beat, Pump It Up, which is, I guess, probably the biggest single off this one, uh, Hand in Hand, Lip Service, Living in Paradise. Also, Radio Radio, the great song that... He was not supposed to sing on Saturday Night Live, and he did it anyway, and I think got banned from the show, but that's a great tune as well, talking about uh, the state of radio. But uh, Elvis Costello, this year's model, I think is probably one of my favorite uh, sophomore releases by an artist. The next prompt is to show what you think is a perfect double album, a two LP set, and I'm picking Layla and Assorted Love Songs by Derek and the Dominoes, which was basically Eric Clapton and Dwayne Allman with Bobby Whitlock, Jim Gordon, and Carl Rattle on bass. That's uh, Lo I Love Bobby Whitlock's Thorn Tree in the Garden, beautiful ballad, and of course it has the hit Layla, and Bell Bottom Blues, which was a big hit. Does some great blues songs like Have You Ever Loved a Woman, and uh, key to the highway, but and nobody knows who you when you're down now. But just I think a perfect double album, great players on there, and it's too bad that there wasn't a another Derek and the Dominoes album, uh, studio album, but uh, wonderful, and I think uh, one of the greatest uh, two LP sets there are. Or there were. And lastly, with the two theme, he wants us to shout out two channels that are under 200 subs. So I'm actually going to go two plus one because I have to I have to do three here on this. But the first one I'm going to mention is a good friend of mine that I've met on the through the vinyl community, a younger guy, Sam St. John out of Virginia. He's a big uh, Van Morrison fan, which I am, and Bob Dylan, different Americana artists. Um, one of the first people I've seen talk about the, the Avid Brothers, which I really like. And I'm hoping, hoping to be able to see him on a trip I'm taking pretty soon out uh, that way. But uh, so he's one channel everybody should check out. Uh, he's also a big fan of the Monkees, which he and Glenn Kellaway and Chris Profi. So I'm thinking I must be missing something. So I've have, I bought a couple Monkees albums lately and given them a shot to, to climb up in my rankings. But uh, so that's the first one. Second one is a guy out of Scotland called 
Bill, Bill's Vinyl Lists, and I just don't see why he doesn't have more subscribers, but uh, he, I discovered him through, uh, Richard McCook had some challenges, and he, he did it, and so did I, and I discovered him that way. He also was the person that won my contest that I had recently, and just love his channel and his demeanor, and everyone should check out Bill and Bill's Vinyl Lists. And the last one I want to mention is David Ellis over in England. Uh, he's been a big commenter on different people's uh, channels, and he's commented on mine too, and I'm glad that he finally decided to start doing videos. And I think everybody uh, should subscribe to David Ellis. He may have made a comment on your channel, and then you didn't know he started doing videos, but uh, check out uh, David Ellis. And congrats to uh, Russ and Mama's Records for being way over 200 subscribers now. Everybody subscribe to him. And everyone take care, and good luck in the contest, everyone.